Hey everyone, welcome back to Better Biomed. Today, it finally came in. I have been waiting for a couple weeks for this guy, and it's because they're getting very difficult to find. This is the Milwaukee Pack Out Edition 106 piece SAE and metric socket set. It's got one quarter and three eighths inch size inside. I have yet to see these tools in person, but when I've seen all the details, the fact that it comes in a nice neat pack out kit so I can attach it to my kit and roll away with it, I just had to have it. So let's take a look and see what's inside. guys here she is the 106 piece Milwaukee pack out socket sets now a lot of people complain because the second set is $300 and let me tell you something if you guys have been pricing out tools reasonably good quality ones to get a 3 8 and a uh, quarter inch sets like this I mean in a in a real reputable brand it's gonna cost you way more than this. Plus, the obvious plus here is that it's in a nice, neat pack out kit where you can see where everything is. Here, I'm just gonna open it up sideways so y'all can see better. Oh my goodness, take a look at this. These trays are so neat. So the trays are removable, and I've seen plenty of people demonstrate that you can take them on in and out. They got neat little latches right here. That's very cool. I really dig that, guys. But one of the best things about this kit is obviously the fact that you can look at it and you see if you're missing a piece. Arr. So if you're missing one, you know exactly what you're going to be looking for, right? So, oh my gosh. So this is going to be interesting. We're going to go over all the details. I'm just going to pull this guy up so I can get the plastic wrap off of it. So they do pop right out, which is a really big plus because when you're going to be working on something like a surgical table or whatever, you're going to probably pull the kit out, take it down to your work environment, and then work off the kit right there, right next to you. Save yourself the time and the energy. I get it. Let's see, how do I get this guy out? There we go. That's a really interesting it's all very very tightly press fit in there all right so this guy presses in I really dig that it's a whole entire complete kit so whether or not it's going to be standard or metric you just grab the whole entire pack out off your stack and you can go that's so nice guys I can't tell you how many times on medical equipment I thought I knew I was going to be working with standard. Come to find out it was metric or vice versa. Ah, here it is, all in one kit. Well, let's take a look at these ratchets. Oh my gosh. Well, the overall fit and finish of the ratchet is exceptional. I wish that the, uh, it's a low profile switch, which is very nice because often, uh, You'll get some that are a little bit too proud and they'll hit things. And so this one here has been shaved off and it's got a definite stop point and it, it doesn't want to creep. But it's not like a really, really strong latch like on some of them. It's, it'll work. That's all right. Ooh, that's a really fine tooth ratchet. I don't even know if I can demonstrate how fine that is. That's got to be like, what, one, one and a half degree, something like that? Can you guys hear all those clickety clacks? Let's try the 3 8. Same thing, low profile switch. Oh, this one's a wee bit stiffer to flip back and forth. I don't know. We'll see if this one wears in. That one's actually too stiff. Yeah, actually it looks like it's kind of wearing in. To go from uh, on to off, it was actually just acting like it was sticking a little bit. 
But uh, the fit and finish of the 3 8 ratchet is really nice. Really nice. The plate's nice and sunk down in. You got some torque screws that are holding the face plate on. So this one does not have the button to release the sockets. And I don't know. That's kind of a bittersweet thing. I don't know if I like it or not. Um, you know, sometimes it's nice, sometimes it's not. Let's take a look at these sockets. Holy cow, guys. If you don't know the secret to why these are so special, you can see that one side is nice and round, the side that's going to connect to the fastener, and the opposite side that connects to your ratchet is square. So when you put it down, it's not going to roll across your work surface underneath the device that you're working on because it's got a squared end. Do you see that? It just naturally wants to sit there. So the digits are engraved pretty deeply on the side for the, the sizing. The Milwaukee's laser etched and eh, that'll probably get wore off but it looks like the engraving for the size is it's embedded in, pretty dark pretty down in there so no real worries about that wearing off. I do wish that these magnetic uh, I wish these trays had like uh, magnets underneath them to hold the bits in. You know, it, it sits in there pretty deep, but just maybe a magnet to hold it in. I don't know. I get $300 for all this, in my opinion, is reasonable. It's very reasonable because I have a whole kit ready to go of very quality tools. I don't have to worry about it. So, you know, if you buy this kit over here, you buy this kit over here, sometimes you got to get the ratchet separately. Your universal joints you have to get separately. I mean, this one here, I can tell if one component is missing. If I forgot something, if it's still stuck inside the equipment, I can go back and I can inventory my tool set, and I know that I'm looking for a piece. Which, talking about that, these universal sockets are they're shaved off. The, the, the pins, when they blunt them to hold them in, the, they stake them. Um, these ones here, actually, they don't flop around. There's... A good amount of resistance in them that's that's a good thing some uh, u-joints just flop all over the place and those can be such a pain in the butt if you're going to try and fit a fastener up into some place and it just wants to hang there all flaccid like this um, such a pain in the butt to get in there but these ones here actually have a, a little bit of resistance on them nice tight tolerances let's see I guess some of my extensions quarter inch extension okay looks pretty good sometimes on these smaller extensions you'll have the ball socket is just really poorly staked in there and the ball almost wants to pop out you don't seem to have that problem as you step up the sizes but when you get down to that quarter inch sometimes they have problems with the quality of quarter inch on some tools these ones here they look all right so we got what, uh, six millimeter all the way up to 19, or five. Well, if we take a uh, quarter inch, I got five all the way up to 15 a quarter. It's really nice, along with their shallow sockets. Um, and I got six all the way up to 19 of the 3H drive. That's nice. And down here, I got five thirty seconds to nine sixteenths of these ones. Okay, and then it continues over here. That's that's the quarter inch. The three eighths, I got one quarter to seven eighths, and it goes all the way up to one inch for the shallows. So those are those are pretty good. Now, often with uh, the sockets, you can look on the inside and you'll see the quality of how they machine it or how they punch them out. And I see, you know, maybe a couple little pittings here and there on. Uh, some of the chrome and I, I would expect some of this chrome to maybe wear off eventually with hard use but hey uh, I guarantee that this set is probably gonna last you your entire lifetime it it looks like it's really well made I'm not really sure what the warranty is I will probably have to get the box for that. what is the warranty on these guys it says lifetime guarantee there you have it guys lifetime guarantee on these tools 
three hundred dollars for uh, quarter inch and three eighths metric and standard. Two ratchets. You got universal joints. A set of extensions. You got some what? Uh, two and a half inch and then six inch extensions. And the best part of it all. It comes in a Milwaukee Packout kit. Look at this. That's one of the best parts about the Packout system is your stuff is not all over the place. Take a look at this. It's exactly where I left it. That is such a huge plus. How many, how many uh, socket sets can you guys do that to? Flip it up on its side, shake the hell out of it, and then come to find out all your stuff is exactly where you left it. Guys, this to me is a complete win. So many biomed shops I've been to have uh, a piss poor selection when it comes to sockets and socket wrenches. This here is all one kit. You can inventory it, you can itemize it, you can check it when you leave the job site. You know if you're missing anything. And if you loan something out, you can take a look at it and you know exactly what you loaned out. It's got this nice clear top. Milwaukee Packout starting to include those clear tops. I've got them in some of my other kits and it's really nice because I can look right in there and see exactly what it is that I'm looking for. I really dig that they're starting to uh, utilize these clear tops. But anyway guys, that is the 160 piece Milwaukee socket set. Metric and standard. You can find it at the Home Depot. $299. You might think that's expensive, but believe it or not, for a lifetime warranty on a tools like this, I think that's a real win. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. I hope you like this video. Give me a big old fat thumbs up if you do. And stay tuned because I've got plenty of other videos I've got coming for you. Thanks for watching.